listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard saving you from the world, drowning in yourself, drowning in the things that will cause you to stay true to you, boo. That's what we're going to talk about today. Staying true to who God created you to be. Because, you know, that's all we got. That's all we got, man, is ourself at the end of the day. You know, let me invite, let me invite everybody in. Hold on. Join me. I always try to do this before time, but, you know, I'm always rushing. I'm always in between trying to steal some time in between um, working and things of that nature. So, but I thank y'all all for joining me. Um, thank you all for, you know, uh, deciding to accept my invite this morning. It's been a long week and I hope that everybody enjoyed their weekend. You know, yesterday's podcast, last evening, um, yesterday evening's podcast, I got a little bit serious, but I hope, you know, those who needed to hear that, um, took away from that because, it is a lot of chaos going on in this world today. And, um, you know, part of it is staying true to yourself. And, and that kind of helps you get through uh, your different storms and different struggles in life. But what I want to talk about is like really, really staying true to the core of your real being. You know, as we when we're kids. Think about this. When we're kids, we just have no filter. I mean, I have grandkids and I'm telling you, and even when, you know, my kids were younger, it's like (laughs) you could be out somewhere and if it's somebody that don't look the way they want them to look or they look different, they'll blurt it out and say it or if it's something that's going on. Um, around you in, in, in the area you are, they'll blurt it out and say it and they'll, they'll just say it and you have no warning. And of course, most of the time it could be embarrassing because they already said it. So you can't clean it up. <laughs> and I mean, but this is the thing when you're kids, that is the pureness of who you were created to be and you don't know any different because you're just coming up out here in the world you're just learning you know to talk you're learning to express yourself and so you want to express you're going to express you know kids express themselves any way they can to get you to understand what they want and what they need from you you know and so let's just start with that you know even as a kid we have dreams, we have visions, and we just believe we can, we can do whatever and be whatever we want to be until, until a few adults tell us we can't. And after enough adults tell us that we can't as kids be or do the things that we want to do, that's when we start to form into someone else and we lose ourselves little by little as we grow older and this is what happens to to us as individuals you know unless you grow up in a household where you do have at least one person that can continually pour into you and tell you that to stay true to you boo stay true no matter what no matter what people think no what matter what people say they think you're weird they think you're different uh different is good Different is good because if we if we don't have different people, then I mean, who wants this? Who wants a uniform world? You know, it would be no type of excitement, no, no type of adventure. If we're all thinking the same, doing the same, acting the same. 
it, I mean, that would be such a boring world, such a boring world. And a lot of times we get connected with people or it's just or maybe it's just our family that um, you feel like, well, most of the family is this way. Most of the family are nine of fibers, which is fine, you know, but I'm born with an entrepreneur spirit. That was me. You know, that is me rather. Born with an entrepreneur spirit, born with a risk taker, an adventurous. I want to see more of the world. I want to do more. I want to, I feel like, you know, everywhere I go, this is just not it. It's just not enough. This has got to be more. And it is more. But it's only until you decide that, you know, you're going to go out there and you're going to do the things that you love to do regardless of what everybody else thinks of you. And again, as I always say, be respectful of your kids, your uh, spouse or, or whatever you have going on if you are connected and you have a family you know you definitely do things in reason but you definitely want to set a standard of who you truly are because see how you start things is how you got to continue to keep up with things and you don't want to start things being fake because now you got to stay you got to continue to be fake if you're no, if if you're doing something that you feel uncomfortable doing, but because whatever you're doing might make somebody else smile or make somebody else happy, but it's not settling well with you, with your heart, with your mind, with your soul, with your spirit. Boo, you're not staying true to you. That's what that means. You're not staying true to you. And maybe you need to have a conversation with whoever it is, whether it be, you know, your spouse, your kid, whoever, your mom, your dad. You need to have a respectful conversation. Your boss. You man, listen, listen. You know, I'm in a new career right now and I'm just I, 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 I've been going straight for 13 days, moving, packing, um, what got straight into work and. You know, um, it's been very tiresome and um, I really needed some time off to just think, to just gather my thoughts and, you know, and I'm a person that I can't fake. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, now, don't get me wrong. If I'm dealing with a client and all of that and, you know, I got cramps or whatever. OK, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to put on the face. But when, you know, you work with people. You definitely have to stay true to who you are because you set a standard. And if you don't allow people to know who you are from the gate, then what happens is you could be working at an occupation for years. And then now you're miserable because you set this fake standard, this OK standard, this yes standard, this OK, OK, don't never want to say no standard. And now everybody's piling stuff on you. Now everybody expects you to be that person, that, that go-to person when you really not. But you, you was trying to, you know, please everybody so that you can, you know, maybe get to the next position or just for everybody to like you or whatever. No, boo. Stay true to you, boo. You got to have meetings. You got you to gotta set standards. That, I mean... You don't understand how many different occupations I told y'all I've worked at least 30 different jobs in my life. And sometimes it was like three at a time or whatever. But one thing I could say about myself and some people didn't like it. And some people at the end, the people that didn't like it in the beginning, at the end, they always came to me in a respectful way and said, you know what? I got respect for you. You know why? Because they knew I was staying true to myself. You know, I've I had an occupation where, you know, plenty of times where the boss, I just, you know, I express myself. I mean, my thing is this. We are we all are human beings. All of us. I don't care what your title is at a workplace. You cannot forget that you are human, just like the next person that's working with you. And you always have to have compassion for whatever that person is going through. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get in positions, and this could be you. I could be talking to you, whoever's listening. Sometimes when people get in position of control, 
of authority, of management. They can be one way before they get that position. They can be a compassionate person. They can be an understanding person. But then when they get that position, it could be for different reasons. It could be because of the stress of the position, you know, because of the demand of the position. Um, they can start, and I've seen this time and time again, they will lose who they are and then start treating others as if they're beneath them just because of a title. That is not the way to go. Karma is a mother. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, if you are in a, a position of authority, most of the time you're going to have somebody that's over you that's in position of authority. And the way you want them to treat you is the way you should treat anybody that has a title that's under your title. It's not under you as a person because all of us are equal. Understand that. Every last one of us are equal. You know, only God is above us. And once we remember that, come back to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Remember who we truly are. Remember, we want to be treated a certain way. So we need to treat people the way we want to be treated in order to get that same respect back. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just so many people that just lose themselves in so many different aspects as you get older in life. Even sometimes when you go to college and even young kids in school, you know, because they want to be in the in crowd. So, you know, because they're different, they might be smarter than some of the other kids. And, you know, all of a sudden now they're getting bullied. So what they do, they go try to be who they're not. Go hang with the popular kids that's doing things that they know, they know it's not in their spirit, you know, to, to do those things. They know that their spirit is not right with the things that they're doing. And it's not just kids, it's adults. It, it's just crazy how, you know, we think, you know, once we get out of school, we become adults, we're going to act different. But what I found is that Sometimes adults act worse than kids, you know, you get the same thing with adults talking about each other, kind of bullying each other. And I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But I just want you to realize, like, whatever side of the fence that you're on, when you stay true to yourself, that's when you are happy. That's when you're at your peak. That's when you can enjoy life. And sometimes you might be scared. I'm here to tell you, take them shackles off yourself. Be free. Fly, little birdie, fly. <laughs> because you only get one life. You only get one life. So even when you talk about relationships, hey, if you're black, you want to date a white man, go, and they, that white man still makes you feel good, then you date them. You don't worry about what everybody else thinks. If you're white, you want to date an Asian. You're Jewish, you want to date a Catholic. W whatever. If that is the person that is making you feel good, that is supporting you, that you, that you feel at one with, stay true to you, boo. You can't worry about what everybody else thinks, what everybody else is saying, because guess what? No matter what you do, People are going to always talk about you. I, I, let me tell you, I'm not a person. I, I give a person my last. I'm the, I'm the encourager. I'm the one that try to put a smile on a person's face. But trust me, you, there's been people talking about me. Plenty of times I've heard about and, and nonsense, you know what I mean? And some of it is lies and, you know, or exaggerated things. And I just let it fly by and just be like, wow, you know, childish, you know? I just want people to be free out here. Y'all know that this podcast is for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. And as I said, and um, I think on my podcast page on, on the blog, you know, just because you're not getting that celebrity money don't mean you're not a celebrity. You, We all are shining stars in our own right. You know, we just got to let our light shine. And the only way we can let our life shine is 
if we stay true to who we really are. You don't worry about what other people think. It's, it's sad that even as adults, a lot of people's self-esteem is, you know, damaged or broken because of words, because of people talking about them or what they say about them. You are not who people say you are. You are who God made you to be. You are who you believe you are. So if you believe people and if they calling you names, if you if you're in a relationship or if you're in a family that don't know how to talk and call you out your name, then maybe it's time for you to get away from those family members. Maybe it's time for you to get away from that spouse, from that relationship. Because if they can't call you by your real name, if they can't call you excellence, if they can't call you beautiful, if they can't call you handsome, if they can't call you intelligent, if they can't call you wonderful, magnificent, good words of encouragement to boost you and to, to light your fire, then boo, you need, to, you need to go. It's time. It's time. Tell them kick rocks, kick rocks. You know that's my thing, kick rocks. If stuff is not lining up to, to light your, to let your light shine bright and keep some, somebody keeps dimming your light, I don't care if it's a job, I don't care, whatever it is. Sometimes you got to buckle up and you got to start planning. That job is dim, dimming your light. The people at the job is dimming your light. If you can't find a way to focus on what you're there to do and tune them out if it's impossible to do that then guess what it's time to move on it's time for a new career it's time for a new job maybe it might be you might be living in an apartment complex and just everybody around you is just it's just not their spirit is not right Maybe it's the city, maybe it's the town that won't let you fly, won't let you be who you need to be. You get one life, y'all. One. You better live it to your fullest. You don't want to be that older person sitting there saying to yourself, shoulda, coulda, woulda. And as y'all know, I'm outside. You know, it's always got to be somebody loud riding past <laughs> just because. <laughs> y'all know I like the outside. Um, but, and he got to be extra loud with it. Then he going to park kind of close to me. That's how it goes. But y'all know I keep it all the way real with this podcast. So let me get back to the point. So yeah, I'm going to cut this short. What is it? It's going on 20 minutes, but that's all I really wanted to say, because this is the thing, especially if you have kids, if you can't stay true to yourself, what do you think your kids You know what I'm saying? What example are you setting for them? If your kids come up to you and tell you, mom, you know, if it's a boy and they say, I want to dance. You don't tell them, no, you can't dance. You're a boy. If it's a girl and she says, oh, I want to box. You don't tell them, no, you can't box because that's for boys. Because that's where it starts. That's where it starts. And if somebody diminished who you really wanted to be, don't do it to your kids. If you got a niece, nephew, little cousin or something, and you know that their parents, um, you see something in them, you see that they're different, then you be the encourager. If, If their parents is not the encourager, then you step up to the plate. You encourage them to, to, to be who they feel and who you see that they are. You be that person. Do for them what you wish somebody could have did for you. Light that fire. You know? We all, you know, need to help each other out here, y'all. This, you know, is a world that is a lot of people for a reason. We all need to join together and help each other to shine bright. If we all bind together and shine bright, you'd be surprised on how this world will start to change in a positive way, the energy that this world can create, you know, or that we can help the world create, you know. God don't need no help, but he did create us. He created us all for a reason, you know. He didn't create us all to 
be with somebody else to be. He created us to be who he made us to be. He put certain things in us, per certain talents and gifts in us. And for real, you hold back on them. You, you really kind of disrespecting yourself. You're disrespecting God. You're disrespecting yourself. Don't do that. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. This is Get Started Mondays. So I try to give titles to the little days. You know, I'm trying to get better with this podcast thing, y'all. So this is Get Started Monday. And I just want to get y'all week started with that. So when you find yourself falling off and telling somebody, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And you know, deep down in your heart, you really want to tell the person to kick rocks. You ain't got to tell them to kick rocks. Just say, well, you know, right now I'm, I'm just not available. I got a lot on my plate. Whatever you got. Don't lie, but just, no. I, see, I'm the person to be like, well, really, I'm not up to that. Uh, I, everybody that know me, they know. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you straight how it is, okay? Because I'm not going to lose me for nobody else. Because at the end of the day, I got to live with me. So if you're doing something and you come and you look in the mirror and you make yourself sick to your stomach, you know it's time to, it's time to buckle up, boo. Start staying true to you. So that's what I'm going to leave y'all with today. I need y'all to think on that all this week. And we're going to get back together on Wednesday. I got to see how to, I'm going to make that work because I kind of just switched my days. i um, supposed to be off on Wednesday, so I, I got to see how I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> um, I might have to switch it to 1230 lunchtime or something. But other than that, this is Adion. And I thank you all for joining me. I thank you all for your support. Make sure you uh, friend me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. And I told y'all I'm going to get better with the social media. But at least if y'all friend me and y'all, you know, y'all just sitting there. I got somebody to, you know, chat with and stuff like that. Make sure y'all check out the blog, uh, chroniclesofliving.com without the G. Um, and everything else is Chronicles of Living as well. Except for I think it's Twitter's Chronicles of Live. Um, you know, join me. Make sure y'all join up the Spreaker and follow me so that y'all can know when the podcasts are coming. Okay. And until Wednesday, y'all need to stay true to yourself. Stay true to you, boo. Stay true to you. And do what it is that you would put here to do. Do the damn thing. I talk to y'all Wednesday. This is Adion, Chronicles of Living. Your dream pusher. Your lifeguard. Saving you from drowning in yourself. Drowning in the world. And keeping yourself from being all you can be. I love you guys. Talk to y'all later. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.